Okay, here they are. <laughs> that was a, uh, what would you call that? That'd be a six-pack, wouldn't it? Yeah, six songs in a row. You ain't going to get that anywhere else, gang. Nowhere. Uh-uh. Not six in a row. And anyway, uh, but the important thing is to have a few people listen to your six in a row. Okay, we're working on that. <laughs> anyway, uh, there you have it. That is, uh, that is our six-pack shot of the uh, marvelous doors. Yes, another uh, another twenty seven year old uh, Jimmy Morrison who checked out with the rest of them at twenty seven, and that's uh, I'm telling that was really spooky. I mean, I mean it is spooky. Um, so many uh, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, I think was another one. For some reason, that magical number of twenty seven, the uh, the age of twenty seven, just was devastating uh, for. Um, those um, big time rock and roll stars, uh, man, I'm telling you, it's kind of scary in a way. I mean, what do they do? All just hey, you know, hey, if you're gonna check out, let's all do it the uh, same age. I mean, I don't know, it, it's weird. Anyways, from one of the sayings of the one of the, well, there isn't too many movies about ice fishing or have ice fishing in it, but <laughs> but just think about it. Thank God it was made here, rightfully so. We're talking about uh, this morning. Let's talk a little bit about <laughs> grumpy old men. Uh, Burgess Meredith and uh, Walter Matthau and those guys. And man, I'm telling you, I, I just can't get it out of my head. Uh, that one scene. So I'll just get it out. I'll just get it out. <laughs> Where Walter Matthau says something about. <laughs> You mean to tell me that Joe Spaghetti was Getty's sister? Well, she's the only woman I ever want to mount of my fireplace. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there you got. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh you guys are too kind. Too kind. Spaghetti was Getty's sister? Yeah. Uh, and anyway, Burgess Meredith in that movie, uh, at times he stole that show. Oh my God, what a uh, what a comedy and what an honor for this state if you really think about it to have that movie. Uh, yeah, when he gets his pole and he takes his pole and, and it goes <laughs> under the ice. It's so much Anyway, uh, I love it. I love it all. All right, I applied for another part time job like you guys. Uh, I uh, I sent him. I told you in my video, and it was it was. Uh, yeah, it was called Pleasure Land. I looked it in the you know the Anoka shop or something anyway, under jobs. Pleasure time, part time job. Okay? Yeah, I know, I know, I'm I merv the perv at times. Uh, but anyway, when I see Pleasure Land, I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? Maybe. Anyway, uh no, I I went down there and I was really super embarrassed. I should have just called. I went down there trying to tell me that no, it's uh they wanted me to sell RVs. Now, Clark, that's what you call yourself an RV. Don't you get too attached to it now. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, well, then a pleasure land. Come on. Jeez. Anyway, selling RVs. I don't know. But anyway, it's a, it, it's a cuckoo world out there anyway, right, guys? You betcha. Anyway, uh, what else we can talk about? Oh, I gotta put my background music in because I've had my uh, I've had my producer say, uh, "Yeah, Captain, you're running a little bit. You gotta get some more of that uh, background music going." Uh, Lord knows you need all the help you can get, uh, uh, and, and that's what I'm trying to do and uh, stuff like that. Well, there we go. Uh, anyways, this coronavirus, boy, I'm telling you, huh? How would you like to spend all that money and get on those ships like that? Wow. Uh, that's like a double whammy. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you, you, you're you're put into port at one of the probably one of the one of the most beautiful port of calls in the world. Uh, well, these guys don't go to uh, you know uh, crappy ports. Uh, the, this is big time, and they spend all that money, thousands of dollars, and then you got to be you're docked and you can't even you can't even go out and see the sights. Uh, and man, I'm telling you, wow. And wouldn't you think after a while that ship would get a little bit stinky? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm telling you what, it's like a uh, it's like a high school boy's gym locker. I'll tell you on a hot day. Um, 
and these people are paying good money for it. Uh, wow. Anyway, it is nonetheless. It's a, it's a serious stuff, I guess, and it's uh, and but you guys know why? Why does coronavirus come from Mexico? I mean China. You know that, don't you? Huh? Well, I'll tell you. It simply comes from China because what doesn't come from China? All right. Thank you. You guys can use that one out there if you want. All right. I also tried out for the Blue Man Group, but uh, and anyways, but they after I, I got as far as my hand. That's all they they weren't gonna let me do the whole body thing. Uh, anyways, they said it was too wrinkled. Yeah. So the, I, yeah, they said it was too damn wrinkled uh, to apply for the job. So that shot that one in the ass. All right. All right. Hey, go boomers. There's three things. Name three things that are harder than hell to get out. All right. One is a tinkle. One is a wrinkle. And the other one is your 35-year-old kid who's living in the basement. All right. Thank you. Thank you. This is all original crap. Comes out of my my 70 old gourd. Anyway, stop it's the Melvin A palm. No, thank you. <clears throat> um, yeah, this is how bad it's. How bad is it getting? It's getting so bad. I'll tell you, the medication um, is so expensive and for these older people. And you know, uh, I'm gonna be right up there, not too much longer. You know, really, folks. The bottom line is, that's why I'm doing this now. I I, I told myself my late 60s, whatever, I, or mid 60s, that I didn't want to sit back in my 70s and 80s and regret not doing something with music, with comedy, with having fun, with, and here I am, and, I, uh, and I'm enjoying every minute of it, and it's special to me, especially when I can do stuff like this and, uh, and announce stuff like this, that Captain Boomer Station is a military appreciation station always has been and always will be a a staunch staunch supporter of our military our service people out there who give up sacrifice so much for our well-being and our way of life back here in the states uh, and anyway and having said that a big shout out to uh, Donna Stapleton Donna Stapleton that's right the lovely Linda Moore from Florida, we love her. She is, without a doubt, an angel. Yeehaw! And last but not least, um, the uh, uh, my cousin Susie Q down in Stillwater area. Yeehaw! And all the donut dollies and all, the, I did not know that, but I do my research. I just don't like to throw shit out there without checking stuff out. Because anybody can throw any crap out there, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is that I checked, and I, I, if I read it right, there was a, and I did not know this. I, and, and I was there, and I, I didn't know it. There was supposedly 11,000 active women nurses, army nurses and stuff, in Vietnam, during the Vietnam War. 11,000. I had no idea. God bless you, ladies. And if you're still around with us, God bless you even more. All right, thank you. Yeehaw! And we're gonna get out a big, juicy kiss and wolf whistle to these gals, because we love them. <whistles> there you go, gals. And you know, this, this little show of mine, you know, for what it's worth, that's the least I can do, you know? That's the least I, you, you never hear anybody giving credit to these ladies. If you do, it's going to be, a, you know, in the back of a paper or something, maybe about a two-inch high little uh, insert or something. You're not going to, you know, I like to see him do a special uh, expose, a, a special documentary on uh, all the women involved in the Vietnam War. Uh, I think that'd be special. And, and as they do, they do a lot of They do the Muskegee uh, Airmen. They do the, uh, oh, the talk walk, walk talk, um, oh, you know what I'm talking about. That uh, America, uh, American Native Indians, they were uh, played a big part. Code, uh, code talkers, or uh, anyway, yeah. But do a special, do a special on these gals. I'm telling you, I think it'd be great. And I want to get a big shout out to.
Yeah, they wanted me to do that whistling part, yeah, for that Andy Griffith stuff, but you know, as luck would have it, I had a cold that week. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Oceanside, California, I want to say thank you to you for listening. San Francisco, California, I want to say thank you for listening. Yes, uh, who else we had, had here? Uh, oh, well, Stillwater, Stillwater, thank you. And all you guys, that's right. And if you didn't, and if you didn't know that, oh wait a minute, oh yeah, I gotta mention there'll be uh, there's senior pole dancing uh, gals, uh, boomer pole dancing uh, clinics around the Twin Cities area. Check them out. And then they're gonna be uh, somebody's VFWs are now playing musical oxygen tanks. So if you want to check into that, uh, you betcha. That's the way to do it. Anyways. Do we cheat him and how? Yes. The attorneys for once the attorneys for the for the world famous Three Stooges. Yes. Hey Mo. Anyway, uh, yeah, get a hold of those guys, and I'm telling you, do we cheat him and how? They'll fix you right up. They'll get that. They'll get you uh, that compensation, whatever it may be, money or whatever. They'll get it for you. Uh, so check them out. That's right. Yep. I, I anyway. Adam's family, baby. You gotta love those guys. What else we got we can talk about here? Huh? What else we got here? Huh? What do we got here? Gotta love Gilligan. LED signs are going to be out. Burma Shave is going to have LED signs coming out. I think that's really sad myself. I mean, you can't, you can't leave stuff alone, you know what I mean? you got to screw with everything. Okay, let's put it to you this way. What, 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 come on. Oh, that's the wrong one, you dummy. No wonder. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Uh, you gotta look at, well, hey, we're getting, we're all getting old, are we not? But anyways, I, you gotta kinda look at it like this, guys. It's like this. Getting old, you either face it or you embrace it. It's one or the other. You can't have it both ways. And, I, and what, I'm slowly trying to learn how to embrace getting older than to try to fight it and try to, because uh, there's so many, the pluses, uh, for, you know, are so much more important than your, your your knee and whatnot going out. So anyway, yeah, I see you there, uh, son. Yep, I'll be finishing up here. Okay, good talk, though, huh? Okay, I see my cat, just uh, my cat, Kishka, which means black cat in Ukraine, because we're Ukrainian, and he's uh, he is quite the kitty. Uh, anyway, okay, we're going to be signing off here, guys. You guys, don't forget your cards, your senior discount cards. And don't forget Spaghetti Rigetti Sister. Uh, there you go. Another quality show uh, in the books. And I hope you guys uh, had a little fun with it. God bless you guys. Have a great hump day. I got a dicky mouth.